Scuff 10k finals. Mr. X Enchant is going to be game number three. Elevate up against FaZe here. And FaZe up 2-0 in this series. The second map was pretty close, Chance. Ever since those replays, though, it seemed like, uh, you know, FaZe had complete control. I mean, uh, you know, in game one, they were in the lead for, you know, two or three of those. They ended up winning the one that actually finished. And then uh, they're in game number two. Valiant effort by Saints. Some great S&D play. They just were not able to win it, though. Classic going to get the first score here in comeback uplink. So, interesting. Do you think Elevate can win this map? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, again, I, uh, what was it? Phase was, like, perfect in all game modes except for uplink, and I think they dropped two uplink maps, maybe? Maybe three, something like that. So, it is their weakest game mode. So, that's a plus for Elevate. They also have Host. That's another plus. Plus, you know, Slack was going pretty hard uh, in the hard point. It looks like he's showing up here so far in the uplink. Uh, as well as Saints just came off a nice performance. So if those players can stay hot, then yes, they have a chance to. Uh, of course, FaZe was able to tie it up just there at 1-1, to one, and FaZe does have pretty much complete drone control. Uh, you can see all those players in glass. Uh, but you never know. Elevate maybe can pull this off. Of course, Tav's going to be going for that one point. Thomas, actually, he's just going to whiff on that. But yeah, but it, it's it. Clay directly underneath. The Elevate base was able to just put that one in for two, and now you see Zuma and Clay doing a nice job of spawn killing here. Can and they will get in for a two point score. Looks like gonna elect to just go for the one, throw that one in. So it's gonna be phase up four one here. Three minutes and 12 seconds to go. Everybody on elevate drops. It's gonna be Tash doing a nice job spawn killing and it's actually gonna be Zuma taken out as soon as he gets through the window. That is such a tough spot to drop the drone and that is a huge kill. I don't know who got it, but it's a huge kill to let Zuma not go all the way through with that drone that would have been a two-point score clay picks it up he's gonna go in for two regardless of what happened enable and zuma now on the spawn kill for phase attach with the drone what does he decide to do with it looks like he's just gonna go for one that is gonna be intercepted by slack but still the damage is done phase put six points on the board so far chance still on the attack and that is just a lot of momentum for FaZe, and they are not letting it stop as well. And Abel going to be going for that one point AC stop. So I thought that nearly was going to get intercepted. Turns out uh, he's just going to miss that. He potentially got some aim assist coming off the jump right there. But still, that drone is down uh, over by uh, Elevate's base. Of course, they are going to be able to get that reset. But they reset it back to where those FaZe players are spawning at. So, of course, FaZe still going to be in the driver's seat right there. Elevate really needs just to pick up some kills just to slow down the momentum of phase. I see Classic getting that intro, but of course that drone is going to be down in the middle. Attach is coming off the flank, though. TJ Halley is able to pick him off. And with that three down, now we're going to get a chance to see what Elevate can do on the attack. Yeah, it looks like TJ going to be getting the drone into the phase base. He's going to get cut down. Somehow Clay with a latest a uh, team kill with a stomp, it looked like. And look at this. They're going to go for the wraparound, and they're going to just throw that in for one. I thought Clay probably would have had a chance to go for two, but he was not sure if enemies were spawning on his own goal. Instead, going to go for that one-point throw. Now going to go for the spawn kill. We'll go on board with Attach. He's the drone carrier. Going to be wrapping it all the way around towards blue side. He's going to dunk that one in for two, and it's going to be phase up 9-1 here. A minute and 19 seconds to go on the clock. Can Zuma end it? He's going to go for a one-point throw. Going to get it off. It's going to go in. 345 on the clock, phase up 10 to 1. You know, you asked me at the start if I thought Elevate had a shot, and I was trying to be nice, but now at this point, no. I think phase pretty much has this in the bag. I mean, granted, Elevate is going into the good side, but I just can't imagine that they're going to be able to put the same amount of pressure on phase uh, of what phase just did to them. I mean, it was almost constant outside of like the first minute of the match. Phase just all the time getting those spawn kills, and even when Elevate got something going, uh, FaZe was able to just counter it with a score of their own. But of course, off the bat, gonna be that fight for last control. Elevate gonna get that first kill. Saints picking it up. Uh, of course, Enable and Zuma are gonna be there to trade. But uh, Elevate does have control of the drone, but they're gonna have to, you know, chain together those scores. Exactly what happened to them. TJ Halley, very nice start in the first 30 seconds, able to get a point on the board. Yeah, TJ gets a nice toss there right at the start of the game. That's pretty much exactly what Elevate needed. Now they just need to get glass control. Put some more pressure on phase. They can definitely make the comeback a lot of time. You know, three minutes, ten seconds to go. Only down eight. See TJ gonna go into glass. Extremely weak. Has Placer directly in front of him. He's gonna be able to pick him up. Another player up top. TJ 
playing very nice here in the second half. 15 and 12 on a three streak. He's going to bring this one through the middle. See what he decides to do. Is he going to go for one or is he going to try and force this one in for two? He's going to step on attack and then dunk it home. Fantastic play right there from TJ. That's now elevating right back in this game, Chance. Yeah, I have no idea how he was even able to do that. He was like staring down a few different players and just like time to stop perfectly. I don't even know if he like meant to do it on purpose. I don't purpose, think he knew that way, attach was there. Yeah, I don't know. But either way, he is going to be able to get that two point play. But of course, attach going to be on attack right now. Classic trying to get that interception. Attach, though, going to sink that shot to re increase the lead. Increase the lead, excuse me, back to seven. Yeah. It's a big one-point throw. I mean, you know, Elevate looked like they were going to gain momentum, and then that one-point throw happens, and now you feel like the game's kind of reset a little bit. Two minutes to go. Elevate still in this one by every stretch of the imagination. Going to have Saints picking up the drone. He's going to be working this one down the right-hand side of the map. Has one teammate in support. Probably just going to go for a one-point throw, and he's going to knock it down to 11-5 to five here. A minute and 52 seconds left. If Elevate can set up, get a nice spawn trap going, they should be able to rally some caps here. You have Slack on your screen, gonna be trying to win a gun battle in the phase base. That would have been a huge one if he was able to do it. You see the drone on the Elevate side of the map though. It's gonna be Zuma picking it up and he's gonna dunk it in for two. A huge two point play for phase. That is a huge error on the side of Elevate. Now you see phase looks like they're gonna be trying to rally the drone into the Elevate base and now up 10 yet again chance this one almost impossible for Elevate to come back. Yeah, without a doubt they do have drone control right now but TJ Halley gonna get shut down just so quickly like that. You even see Elevate players, they're trying to push up that's gonna be Saints to get those kills and he is getting those kills uh, but they just don't have that kind of time. Slack gonna go for the one point toss. He connects with it, yes, but still they're down by nine and they only have 55 seconds. You have to get dunks at this point. So still, they are controlling the drone, but they're gonna have to chain together dunks, and they're just going for those throws right now. Uh, looks like that's gonna get tossed in the base. Placer's gonna dodge. The drone's right under, but Attach gonna be able to pick that up. He's gonna get the reset. This one is all but over. I think they're just gonna waste some time. I mean, there's no reason to get the reset right away. I would just kind of sit around, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're just gonna have players slate all around green, and then they're gonna just toss it off the map. You see Zuma just kind of protecting Attach up in this building. I've never seen actually another person in there. Clay is actually watching the back alley. And now they're going to try and go for a score here. It's going to be attached, putting that one in. Going to get a one-point throw. That was not a two-point play. Going to be a one-point throw. And it's going to be FaZe winning the 10K here against Elevate. A dominant performance here. Come back up link. Looks like the final score. Let's see if TJ is going to go for a throw. Let's see if he can kind of stab a little bit. Oh, no, he's going to drop it. Anyway, it is going to be a 16-6 to -6 win here. Come back up link. A dominating performance all day long by FaZe. Yeah, FaZe is definitely making an argument for being the best team in the game. Obviously able to take down OG at UMG Dallas. So that kind of gives them the title uh, and then continuing their run here. Uh, again, Elevate was able to knock down off the gaming. That went to game five, but then FaZe just kind of wipes the floor with them. So uh, we might have a new contender for that number one spot and FaZe making a very good case for it. I think we do, Chance. I think we do. Thank you for joining me today during the 10k but before we go show you who actually won the xbox one we can actually show you it is at dean underscore m78 you have won the xbox one giveaway congrats somebody from mlg will be reaching out to you tomorrow about i uh, know how we're going to give you that xbox one how you're going to receive it so guys thank you for tuning in all day long thank you chance for joining me today on the esr for the 10k scuff gaming series and guys tomorrow esports report 5 p.m eastern time See you there.